So how did you find, like, how did you, you know, obviously mentioned you were living at home alone back in Warrington. I mean, what a place to be home alone in as well, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> with, with all due respect, like, um, yeah, like well, how did, how did you find like, did, how did you find your productivity in the studio? Because like, I'll be honest with you, I found mine just completely dried up. Like, I just I've been kind of pretty low on inspiration for quite some time, and it's really made me realise it's the energy of moving around and seeing different places and meeting different people and being exposed to different ideas. That that has that really gets my juices flowing. So that's been a bit of a tough one for me. I mean, how have you found it? I, I was exactly the same. Um, the first two or three weeks, I'd say, were, were the most productive because I. So basically, my studio used to be in a unit in town, so I'd travel ten fifteen minutes in the car every day to get to the studio. And when I heard that the lockdown was coming and it was like really serious and I thought, oh, there's no way I'm going to get away with traveling. So I've moved all my studio back home, put it in the spare room. And I've always found moving to a different room is quite creative, quite inspiring for me. It makes me quite creative. So the first few weeks of being in that new space, I really enjoyed but when when I got used to the room and then you know the novelty kind of wears off and you're just in the house every day, you know, like you said, the creativity slowly dries up because I think as traveling DJs, we get inspired from the energy of people and seeing reactions to certain facts. For me anyway, that was a massive one. Coming back on a Sunday or Monday after a mega weekend of gigs, I'd just be so fired up to make tunes. Yeah, yeah, I totally, totally agree with you. And I'm, I'm the same. I'm totally the same. And it's, it's been really interesting. Like the sort of because the shift that I made was well, you know, if I'm not really feeling making music, what I can do is I can really help people in line of what we do here at NYT and like we really just concentrated over the year of just building I kind of think I built the thing that I needed like I built a community around the brand so amazing it's not exactly been like I've been completely alone it's like I've had this amazing community of people that have all come together and you know we've really helped each other through the sort of the last year so my focus has mostly been on like education and making courses and stuff like that so it's been a bit of a shift mentally for me because i've had to realize that i can be creative in different ways rather than just constantly knocking out tunes and you know having different projects and different ways of looking at things do you know what i mean sure yeah, so, well, you know, once my creativity had dried up, I started to speak to other people, other producer friends, mm. and started doing a few collaborations. Two minds are better than one, aren't they? So um, I did manage to get a few tracks made, but they were mostly collaborations. I did a few with Dennis Cruz. Wicked. Um, yeah, quite a lot with um, some singers as well. Started this this new thing called Denton which was more geared around um, songs, I suppose. Like that, that's still dance music, but songs and collaborations with singers where they would have complete creative control to do their thing. Um, so, so again, I think that was a shift in my creativity. I'm st- still making music, but um, it was in a different way, whereas usually I would just be on my own, you know, feeding off that energy from the weekend, like I mentioned. Um yeah, shifted it to more um, household music, I suppose. Mm. 